This time I'd like to make a video about Miguel Serrano, a researcher, author, and esoteric Hitlerist from South America, who wrote multiple books um, on uh, metaphysical and uh, on ver various topics, be it now on astral projection, out-of-body experiences, not in per se out-of-body experiences, but his astral projections, where he communicated with uh, Adolf Hitler personally, apparently, in the other world. And uh, that's why he uh, wrote these books a short video now uh, depicting Miguel Serrano and his works. Miguel Serrano by Wikipedia Miguel Serrano was born on the 10th of September 1917 and died on the 28th of February 2009, was a Chilean diplomat, journalist and author of poetry, books on spiritual questing and esoteric Hitlerism. Serrano's anti-modernist neognostic philosophy claims to elucidate the extraterrestrial origin of the Hyperborean descended Aryan race. Image bearers of the Godhead and postulates a global conspiracy against them by an ev evil inferior god lit, the Demiurge, worshipped by the Jewish people, lord of planet Earth, spawner of the primitive hominid stocks, and author of all the base materially. Mat materially. And all base materiality. Serrano foremostly synthesized the Hindu, Vedic, and Nordic Germanic religious traditions, both which he considered to be of ancient. Aryan Hyperborean provenance, in addition to particularly esoteric and racialist interpretations of Buddhism, Christianity, or Christianism, Luciferianism, not to be confused with Satanism, and Gnosticism, he was especially indebted to the Jungian theory of collective racial, ar racial archetypes, borrowed heavily from Julius Evola in supporting a spiritual consideration of race as opposed to a solely biological one and followed Saviti Devi in recognizing Adolf Hitler as an avatar, a divine incarnation, who battled against the demonic materialistic hosts of the Kali Yuga. Well, the written works of Miguel Serrano are um, Antologia del Verdadero Cuento de Chile, the real uh, story of Chile, the real history of Chile, 1938, 1948, La Antarctica y los otros mitos, the Antarctic and other myths, uh, well, he wrote many, many uh, books. <laughs> the Ultimate Flower. <laughs> El Corton Dorado, The Golden Band, 1978. Esoteric Hitlerism. Uh, Nos, Book of the Resurrection, he also bought. He also wrote. And of course, Adolf Hitler, the last avatar. Adolf Hitler, El Ultima Avatar. Adolf Hitler, the last avatar. And this book he also wrote in 1986, Nation National Socialism, the unique solution for the uh, uh, for the countries in of the, um, South America. Uh, well, he knew the truth about National Socialist Germany and the Third Reich. Well, there is Miguel Serrano in a picture. And. Uh, here he is again in another picture, also written, that's how he's shown in the works of uh, The Last Avatar. As you can see, if you uh, YouTube Miguel Serrano, you get many speeches uh, or many interviews given by Miguel Serrano, who was an esoteric Hitlerist. And I quote, The latter is under the jurisdiction of the Demiurge, an inferior godlet, an inferior godlet whose realm is the physical planet Earth. The Demiurge had created a bestial imitation of humanity in the form of proto-human robots like Neanderthal man and intentionally consigned his creatures to an endless cycle of involuntary reincarnation on the earthly plane to no higher purpose. The Hyperboreans recalled in horror from this entrapment of the Demiurge's cycles. They, they themselves take the Devayana, the way of the gods, a death and return to earth as the Bodhisattvas, as if they are willing. Determined upon a heroic war to reclaim the Demiurge's deteriorating world, the Hyperboreans clotted themselves in material bodies and ascended onto the second Hyperborea, a ring-shaped continent around the North Pole. Well, I've read personally, uh, partially, um, uh, Out of Hitler, The Last Avatar by Miguel Serrano, and uh, partially also The Golden Band by Miguel Serrano. Uh, it's difficult to read uh, many of his works. Some of his works are really clear to read. Uh, like the, the Manu, the Man to Come by Miguel Serrano. It's also uh, cryptic a little bit, but it never has clear parts in it. 
Uh, he is an esoteric Hitlerist. He knows magic. He's an uh, um, initiated occultist. And he could project practically with his astral body. I believe it will. I think he was trained to do that. And he could uh, meet with other entities in the other world. So Mega Sedano tried portraying this in his books, uh, which I had difficulties reading. Uh, it's really, really uh, a lot of information put into there, like the astral, the astral uh, tubes in the North and South Pole, that there are the entrances to the inner world. These are astral tubes at the same time that can can lead to the higher dimensions, so to our higher fine, final vibratory reality. Uh, that he also portrayed that in the Golden Band, and um, it's really interesting. It's nevertheless interesting to read because it gives you information, insider information on how these occultists practically manage their uh, lives. I also He also made a trip to the South Pole, to Antarctica, a couple of times, I believe, Miguel Serrano. And I, I don't know if he made contact with the Imperial Germans. It might have been that he was in contact with them and he knew of their existence. Maybe he was in contact with them uh, telepathically and saw them via remote viewing. I also believe that he could, uh, that he mastered the ability of remote viewing. That's why he shows also the Hollow Earth or the Inner Earth and the inner earth races. Um, yeah, that's practically... I just wanted to make a short video on Miguel Serrano. Uh, it's, you can download most of his works online as PDF files on the archive.org uh, website. And uh, just download it and read it on your uh, e-reader, uh, Kindle reader. And uh, yeah, and it's a good... it's interesting. Uh, he has... Uh, he believes practically that Adolf Hitler was the last avatar. The truth, he knew the truth about the Third Reich and National Socialism, as I know the truth about the Third Reich and National Socialism. And as anybody who seeks the truth can know the truth and see the truth on the Third Reich and National Socialism. And uh, he talked about that because uh, they believed back then that Hitler was a messianic figure. They literally asked him after one of his speeches, Are you the Messiah? And he says, well, I don't know. At the end of this life, uh, Hitler, at the end of this reign of 12 years, at the end of the war, um, he said, or he stated, uh, in one of his various uh, speeches or writings, that we have to prepare everything for the coming of this messianic figure. From the Zayahan prophecies from uh, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar of ancient Babylon, it is depicted as the third Sargon, the invincible hero-like entity that will manifest itself at the end of time. This is also the figure that practically Mega Serrano talks about, that these are divine uh, figures or godly manifestations of the Godhead, and that they can then change the course of history, as Adolf Hitler did, in a positive way, not in a negative way. I'm talking to the people who did their own research and know the truth on him. Um... Again, it's an interesting read, The Golden Band. Uh, I also suggest you read Savitri Devi, Savitri Devi, um, from The Lightning and the Sun. It's also from that style. Uh, it's all ancient Aryan Hitlerist legends and myths and uh, mythology, actually. Um, Hindu knowledge, Vedic knowledge, all intertwined with apparent history about... Kalki avatars or uh, avatars incarnating on a regular basis. Uh, and I believe also that uh, Hitler was one of these incarnations, that he changed the course of history, that he gave us time. Uh, nevertheless, I believe that the global turning is upon us and that um, the Imperial Germans and the Third Sargon will liberate the world during uh, the third event or third world war. Ave. Oh.